this is an example for the meter out circuit uh, let's go ahead and see the simulation very quickly um, so here um, as you can see it's going very fast and when it's going down I have this restricted valve here so this is the valve is restricted so I can change the control I can control the flow and then reduce the speed of this whatever I want so if you uh, let me show you one more time so now I have about just one gallon per minute flow I restricted there if I increase that then you will see that the cylinder will drop very fast so I can change the flow here and then control the speed and when this uh, control valve is placed in the rod end this type of circuit is called the uh, meter out circuit and the meter in is flow control valve is placed in the blank end of the cylinder so this is an just a picture a snapshot of that situation so let's calculate a lot of time the interest is what's the velocity of this uh, piece so when the rod is extending so what is the extending velocity if I want to calculate that then I can calculate the flow through this by this flow control valve I have pressure in both sides so I can use that equation to calculate the flow through the flow control valve which is the coefficient of that valve the constant value times the pressure divided by the specific gravity the delta P now delta P is given assume that the flow control valve coefficient is 1 and then we have this pressure 1222.32 minus 0.666 divided by this specific gravity assume that 0.9 that will be also given so I have calculated the flow through the flow control valve is uh, 36.86 gallon per minute now this is coming from the rod end to this and then go this way to the reservoir then the velocity I can simply calculate V equal to Q by A so Q and then I can plug all these numbers here 36.86 gallon per minute divided by the area now this area rod and area I have got that from the automation studio simulation it will be given in the question so that is either diameter or it's a known property for the cylinder so in the uh, problem the rod and area fluid area is given 9.13 inches square and piston area is given 12.17 square inches square so here I can plug that 9.13 inches square and then convert that gallon per minute I know that one gallon is 231 inch cube and then one minute is 60 second per minute so I'm going to multiply by minute 60 second I have calculated this 15.54 inch per second and then I can convert that to foot if I want 12 inches is one foot so I get that 1.295 foot per second so that's the velocity of extension now a lot of times the question is how much load we can attach to this piece so it maintains that constant speed assume that that's W so we know that I have this pressure here inside this side that will put a upward force so I can say if at the rod end and this side I have also pressure too that will make a downward force there if at the blanket so I can set up that equation F at the blanket uh, plus the W minus the rod F at the rod in typically upward direction positive let me write down that so the upward direction rod one force minus downwards W minus downward blanket four if if it's a constant speed then there was no acceleration so zero total force so the force at the rod end we can calculate by the pressure times uh, the uh, 
area of the rod end which is 9.13 inches square minus w you want to calculate minus the uh, rod end area which is as about 1000 psi pressure uh, times the area 12.17 inches square so i have calculated this w about 1000 pounds So I can control these thousand pound loads. Let's say it's a fancy piece of equipment. I want to uh, slowly drop it down to the ground. Then I can restrict that flow control valve and reduce the speed of this uh, extension. So if I decrease the flow, then the velocity decreases. It's the same principle as the meter in circuit. Meter in, just the control valve is in the blank side. Meter out, the control valve in the rod side. 